Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Uh, please stop the video and uh, read the disclosure. Uh, today, uh, before we start, uh, explain what, uh, what we have here. Uh, it is a very important day that uh, we have we have uh, the CL at 10:30 oil inventory, and then we have the Fed. We have the Feds today. We have an FOMC day at 2 p.m. On those days here with the FOMC and an inventory, you should not be taking any trade, manual, auto trade. Everybody has to sit on the side for two o'clock. We all wait on those days because this is where the most money we make on the FOMC day. While we are waiting on the feds, you cannot take any trades. Again, when you see there is a feds day, you should not be automated trading or taking any trade. A lot of traders, they sit on the side for two o'clock. And a lot of companies, if they are trying to sell auto trade, they will start auto trading at two o'clock and then a brag about what happened at two o'clock. So it was an option for me, either uh, start today at two o'clock, or we can look at the, the system at the worst case scenario. In other words, at the FOMC day, every trader is sitting on the side and not trading. And this is gonna cause a low volume and a lot of volatility and a lot of a chop market. So from now till two o'clock, or at least on those first, first two hours, what we will be showing you, we will show you the worst kind of day you will have when we are, uh, 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 everybody sitting on the side and where there is no system is going to make you money. So a lot of uh, traders do not understand those uh, days and stand hiding in the corner and come out at night and bragging about a couple of charts and hiding the 80 charts did not make. You know, so what we are doing now, we are showing you today the worst kind of day for any trader nightmare can trade. You should never trade on a days like this. If I don't go live every day on a YouTube, uh, today I would not even start my Ninja Trader and I would not sit uh, behind a computer. I will take my kids to movie because, and then come back at two o'clock and then uh, 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 try to, because at two o'clock, this is where you can make money today. In the afternoon, two o'clock, once the feds start open their mouth, this is where the market is going crazy. And this is where your uh, swing trading is gonna hammer with beautiful trends and it's gonna hammer with a lot of uh, takes. So today there is no use uh, to fight uh, the, uh, the market because it's gonna be a disaster from now till two o'clock because first we don't have any chance today uh, we have the crude oil at 10.30 inventory, which is gonna spike the market somehow. And then we have the FOMC at two o'clock. And this is where a lot of companies, they wanna brag what happened after two o'clock because this is where the market move. But I guarantee you one thing, you will never find a company today will be willing to show up before two o'clock and try to show their system on a very brutal day where most of the traders will be losing money. From now till two o'clock, any trade you will be taking 
it will be potentially a very high risk and you should not be taking any trades. So uh, this is uh, what is going on. And I'm proud to show from now till two o'clock, we are gonna be diving in a lot of red, you know. But this way we can see the system on the worst case, on the, on the, uh, uh, on a day where it's not gonna perform. It's not gonna get worse than today. And it happened to be uh, the crude oil inventory and the feds there is a few hours in between. That is going to be a brutal day from now to two o'clock for any trader will think about taking any live trade today. So today I will not uh, cover uh, anything today, but what we wanna do, uh, we wanna keep our eye on the trading and we wanna see how that system work when on the worst case like today. And you know what? If a traders cannot accept the fact, like on a day like this, when we have the feds, we have the crude oil and the system is not gonna function. There is no system is going to function today. If a, tr a private trader cannot accept the fact then there is something wrong with him, you know, because there is nothing, nothing you can do today to earn your money on a day like this. And this is a very sad for, uh, for um, a guy uh, brushing off all the information and uh, sitting in a dilemma somewhere, because uh, I'm sure there is going to be a lot of it's going to be a lot of uh, commercials today, how well the auto trades function. Uh, when, and when it's gonna happen, it's going to happen after the fact, uh, around 3.30, 4 o'clock, everybody gonna come open a chart and give us his peace of mind how good he is. The problem is, yes, uh, also we are willing to show at two o'clock how the our system is gonna dump money on you. We can do that too. But before we get to two o'clock, I would like to show uh, the traders uh, that uh, before we get to two o'clock, you're gonna see the system in red today. You're gonna see a lot of a chop market until two o'clock. You're gonna see a lot of signals are going to fail you're gonna see a lot of FIBs are not going to hold. So this is today exactly like a one drunk guy going down with the bus and has no steering wheel and no brakes. It's a very exactly how it is the market right now. So I'm not gonna sit down today and bang my head trying to uh, activate a trade for you because I do not want you to trade until two o'clock. In the same time, I am not gonna sit in the corner and hide like the others and then brag what happened after two o'clock. What I wanna brag about how my system is going to survive doing the worst case of the year. You know, you get those a few times a year. Those are the worst days you're gonna be able to trade on an FOMC. For us, we wait until two o'clock and a light-handed guy require, and then you can nail tons of takes after two o'clock. We wait on those days. We feed on those days. We enjoy those days because those days from two o'clock to three o'clock, you can make as much as you can make the whole week. The problem is before two o'clock, you should not try to go head to head uh, with uh, this uh, uh, market because it's gonna kill you. First of all, uh, the inventory come in and then the feds are talking. And believe me or not, for the ones who have not tried that, 
Uh, I don't know how many of you, we have a new signal, by the way, on the YM. I made the market analyzer into the blue so can shine it to the, the signals and the numbers. I don't know if you guys remember Alan Greenspan, uh, those older traders, when he coughed, uh, the market turned around. When he sneezed, the market turned around. When, when um, you know, so, you know, and then uh, we we used to watch it if he's coming with the, is a small briefcase or not? I mean, we, those the old days, now is a total different ball game. But I mean, from those guys, uh, from those older traders here, uh, when uh, Alan Greenspan was, um, uh, and um, we had a lot of, uh, a very wild ride, and he made us uh, tons of money with them every time he was opening his mouth. Uh, the ES, you have a new signal. I strongly advise you today to go stay on a sim. And uh, for the ones that just joined us, uh, this is a three different automated to trade in. Uh, what you see here on the left uh, upper corner is your market analyzer with a signal. And at the chart at the bottom is the same system with the three different automated trade, ATM, ATM strategy, and fully automated. What exactly what you have seen here, you see a signal, it gives you the entry, it gives you the target, and it gives you your PNL. And as you see your PNL today, hit an all south. Once the target hit, you will see the target hit. There is nothing we are hiding. There is nothing we are calling. You are very welcome to follow our signals as long as you follow us on a, on a sim because we're not allowed to call live trade for you. So we are not collecting money. We're not collecting your name. We're not collecting email. Uh, we are donating every day, two hours, to help those traders out there. So please don't, don't give us a slap on our face. We're not doing anything here uh, to gain anything out of you. The same story you can do on the stocks and Forex. And the same story, both of market analyzers, they are in one minute. And we use the market analyzer every day on one minute. Also, our charts are based on a one minute. And then uh, you can use this system here on the stocks, on a Forex, and you can auto trade the stocks you can feed the auto trade 100 or 200 or 250 per stock. Or if you want it, we are using a base on a 10,000 only, a micro account on the Forex base on one minute. And then uh, we have the market analyzer in the future base on only one contract. So this one is only base on one contract. Then uh, we have uh, the... As you see now, start everything, get it in red. This is the scalper. And what we use every day, the same time frame, we use the scalper 150 ticks and we use the scalper one minute. So today uh, we will be sharing the scalper one minute and we will be sharing the scalper 150 ticks uh, to see how things work. Then on the controller here, it is actually the swing trading and it is very mixed market. I will not swing trade right now until two o'clock. At two o'clock, I will be flattening out everything on the swing trading, and then I will let it hammer. So for a day like this to our members on the Fed's day, you should flatten everything out, get ready. And then around 1.30, 145, get ready, do not activate your auto trade. And then five minutes before this market or 10 minutes before the feds, turn on your auto trade and you will see uh, it's gonna hammer with ticks. Why? Because it's going to be, uh, the market is gonna be moving really good. As you see right now, the scalpers, the, 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 the uh, signal entry, Nothing is going to work from now till two o'clock. And this is the million dollar question. I'm showing it. 
and I I have no problem showing you the best days and I have no problem showing you the best days or the worst days. So we don't have a problem with that. We don't have to hide in the corner, sit in the corner and then come out only at night. We're going to be showing you uh, good days and a bad days because trading is a good days and a bad days. There is no good days every day. There is no such a thing called every day good day in the trading. If you're looking for a system constantly making money 24-7, uh, try for another next 100 years and maybe you might find it. As a, a retailer, you're not going to find a system 24-7 making money. Not unless if you have some kind of 20 different IT men sitting in the other room trying to adjust your corner. I have been in those rooms. Even those rooms cannot even uh, be 100% uh, profit, uh, profitable. So this is uh, the story on uh, the today. And uh, we are very welcome. Uh, I don't mind to share uh, my system with you. If you want to be on a sim, you are very welcome to be on a sim. But there is nothing going to happen today. And there is nothing I can do for you, uh, for me to move the market for you. So this is uh, what you see, what you get. I strongly advise you today to just stay on a sim. Even on a sim, you're not going to be able to make money. But at 2 o'clock, we're going to have tons of money, which are probably going to be logging in again today at 2 o'clock, activating the auto trade. And I will show you total different picture than what we are looking at. But we do not have anything to hide, so we're going to let it run. And, uh, and if I see anything, uh, I'll let you know. Uh, we are about to have uh, the inventory within a few minutes on the CL. That's very fine. This is one headache is out of the way. And then uh, we will uh, uh, just uh, sit quiet today and uh, wait till the market uh, gets, um, uh, give us some movement with the feds at, um, uh, at two o'clock. Uh, this is extremely powerful trade and panel you have it on ninja trader 7 this is where you can see on that uh, trade and panel from for ninja actually we have it on ninja trader 8 as well but i it's right there on your chart it's on the left upper corner here it's the same story but i like this one here on ninja trader 7 i find there is more stability on ninja trader 7 uh, because this one require a lot. And on this one here, you have the one minute has 10 indicators, the two minutes have 10 indicators, the three minutes has 10 indicators. This is 30 indicators, implement one signal, plot one signal. And then you have one minute, three minutes, and five minutes put in one signal. That's another 30 indicators. And then you have another 30 indicator uh, synchronizing the one minute and the three minutes and the 10 minutes. Uh, that's just on the first line, there is 90 indicator, nine zero indicators. And then uh, we have here another, uh, uh, another uh, uh, 60 indicators based on the three minutes, five minutes and 15 minutes and a five minutes and a 10 minutes and a 15 minutes. So those here, you can see those are extremely accurate because it's measuring all the time frame and a plot in one signal for you. If we look from the one minute to the 10 minutes, it's all in no trade mood, where on the, the higher time frame is showing this market to the downside. Then we can measure the buyers and the sellers. And there is much more to it. I don't want to get into it right now. And then you can get to see the news. The reason is we made tons of money out of this one here. The reason is because it's giving you, then it measures the bears and the bulls. And then you have here those points here on the left upper corner, on the right upper corner, the high time frame, the trend of a high time frame, the target, I don't want to get into it right now, and the volatility. 
then we are measuring on this one here we have a lot of we made doing those years we've been in the public almost 10 years we have made tons of money on those why because most of those guys uh, that uh, we have the most accurate we have the most accurate uh, system uh, when we are trying to use uh, the the fibs and then the, most of the time those guys uh, when they are using the fibs most of the traders they fell to this trap where they do not know when the market comes into fib line even if his uh, FIPS line is accurate, like ours, he don't know what to do with it because he is not looking at the pressure in the market, the momentum in the market, and he don't know if he, he, he cannot see if this market is going to be holding on those levels or this market movement is going to cut those lines like a knife. He have no, because when they, when you trade in a FIB, we can take advantage of the projection. We can take advantage of the retracement. We can take advantage of the support resistance. Uh, I mean, there is so many things, but when, the, when the, the market is coming to certain area, he has no clue if he needs to, to uh, go the opposite direction of the market or n be notified that this market is strong enough to cut those lines like a knife. And that's what we refuge to, to understand how strong the pressure, the momentum in the market, so we can go ahead knowing if this FIPS is going to be penetrated or this FIPS is going to hold. This is the million dollar question when you come into a FIP, if this FIP going to hold or not. So, uh, so we have it in Ninja Trader Eight, but uh, I still uh, uh, probably I don't know why, but uh, I feel uh, my trading panel on Ninja Trader Seven, I find that uh, there is much more stability for now. <laughs> As you see right now, the market analyzers in, is in red. Uh, uh, doing those uh, hours, probably the scalpers, they're going to lose all the, whatever they gain earlier today. Most likely they're going to wind up giving it up until two o'clock. Uh, on the swing trading, there is not much going on. There is a, the market is going up and down and taking one win and losing trade. One trade losing one day is winning. So in a way on the swing trading also, uh, you are going in a circle. There is nothing. One trade you're gonna lose. One trade you're gonna uh, make it. So, as an example, let me show you the earlier uh, trade on this one here. Uh, is is uh, one trade is uh, ma making money. One trade is losing. Two trade losing. Then one trade is making money. Another trade is losing. So what what it is is you're you're sitting in the circle, generated. And this is a swing trading, folks. When the market was a uh, trending, uh, we 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 nailed it. Then we got slammed by two losing the trade, and we know why. We know the reason is because nobody wanna, nobody dare, uh, take a live trade uh, on the uh, on the Fed's day. Nobody. So um, they all have tried, and they all lost money. And uh, this one here is like. Um, on a day like this, you know, it's like exactly when you're going head to head with the wife and you're going to wind up losing. So don't don't even think about going live today. Um, I'm going to be sitting in the corner doing nothing. I will not be covering and I will not encourage anyone to take any trades today. Today, we're going to see how the system on the worst case, on the worst day, like today, how the system is gonna be uh, performing. And uh, 
and uh, please uh, to our members uh, I know what I'm talking about do not challenge the market you're gonna lose stay on the side today get yourself a coffee and try to learn what's going on and uh, I'm not gonna be encouraging for any trades and most likely we're gonna go back live today uh, at uh, two o'clock and um, and I would like to show you uh, the performance before and after so you can see how how big different there is into those trades um, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut off the mic for now and uh, you're very welcome to follow the signals on the sim uh, until uh, the the feds uh, gets out of the way and then we're gonna start to see some serious movement in the market thank you doing this time if i see anything i will be i will be calling it for you no problem
I don't know if uh, any of you has uh, seen the a new signal on the YM. I'm very amazed, very surprised for today. Really, it's an FOMC day. I don't know. I, th I guess the market worked in a mysterious way. I don't know. For the ones that just join us here on the market, the blue market analyzer, uh, I have it in white, but now I made it, maybe it's uh, fading out or you cannot see the number. So I made a one with a blue color so you can see the signal, entry price, target hit. And then on the, this one here is a base on one minute, one contract only. One minute and one contract only. So, right now you can see in takes and the total amount and you can see the trace on the automated trading and uh, this is the signal automated trading i put this one here guys uh, the trading panel uh, the trading panel is uh, extremely strong it can uh, really uh, give you a little sense what's going on in the market and it gives you the signals how strong it is the es and it's telling you the buyers over the, the sellers, is giving you the news, is giving you the pressure, is giving you the trend, is giving you uh, all the signals. And plus, there is a signal here with all those whatnots uh, from the MACDs, ATRs, all those combined all in one signal is right there, is in yellow right now. And then, when it's a blinking, that means there is a lot of buyers or sellers. When it's blinking green, means it's a lot of buyers. And uh, when there's a blink in red, that's mean either it could be profit taken or it could be like right now. There is this one here. When you see it a blink in, you're gonna see immediately lift off on on the uh, ES. It's it's always works this way. So this is. Uh, I wish I can squeeze more in one screen. Ah uh, man, I cannot squeeze any more in this one. Okay, what you see, what you get, and um, we have on this. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm surprised it's an FOMC today, and it seems like people dive right into it. And um, uh, we have some trades on the Nasdaq. Uh, on one trade is 940, and uh, back 764. Uh, CL 490. Uh, it is an amazing. I have all the charts collapsed, so I need to fish them out, all of them to show them to you. I'll try to find them. But uh, I'm, I'm uh, really surprised and amazed on a day like this. I was expecting a lot of red today, and it didn't. Okay. Welcome to trade it. That's all I can say. When it's down and up, welcome to trade it. You never know what you're going to get. You can see the signal on the uh, ES is very strong. From uh, the one minute, this one here on the right hand corner is, is the lower time frame. And here is the higher time frame. They all in agree. That telling us there's a good potential on the, on the, this ES. Uh, we have a projection on the 29, 26, 25. And uh, this, uh, that seems like it's not going to be any limit on the ES today. I don't know. I don't know. We'll take it as is, guys. And I will try to um, approach this market very carefully today. I'm amazed. Um, also, for the uh, the uh, forex traders, uh, this is a, a one-minute market analyzer. You're very welcome to follow those signals. I mean, we cannot squeeze that much in one chart. Uh, but uh, you have the entry, uh, pullback re-entry. This is the safe entry. This is means the pullback re-entry. Uh, your target, we are on a 10,000, only on a 10,000. Uh, so let me add something on, on this one here, make it. Um, so 
this is not bad, but I'm going to add uh, the total pips on it. Okay, we have uh, put uh, the total pips on the forex as well, and you have sixty-one pips, and it's based on ten thousand dollar. It's not a full contract, so this is really also forex. They're doing is extremely good, and you will see the signals in here when you have an entry. You can use also the same system to. You see it right now, we have a new signal on the British pound. And uh, here is your entry. And here is your target. I'm not a British pound uh, trader. I only trade the Euro dollar. That's the only one I know. But uh, for the Forex trader, be my guess. Take those signals as well. So...
Uh, guys, it's uh, 12 o'clock and uh, almost 12 o'clock. Uh, actually, I'm very surprised how the system handle uh, today uh, market. It is beautiful. Uh, it stayed uh, stable on the worst case, on the worst day, like today with the FOMC. And uh, uh, I'm very impressed, actually. And uh, uh, it is a really good. Uh, based on one... Um, one contract on the market analyzer we are in the profit 223 takes this is based on one minute folks this is based on one minute it isn't amazing and this is the chart follow the the uh, the market uh, signal analyzer and then the scalper did very well and then the swing trade in here we have the nasdaq 1400 nasdaq 80, uh, 820 820 cl I'm very impressed uh, that uh, we survived a very hard day. Uh, I will try my best uh, to uh, to log in again at two o'clock when the Feds uh, release uh, all the statement. Uh, I will try my best to see if I can do that. I cannot promise, but uh, I will try my best to log in uh, at two o'clock so we can see uh, the market in action uh, and that is going to be amazing to see really uh, folks I want to say thank you each one of you uh, for being with us today if you like us give us a thumb up and uh, we'll see you maybe today uh, at two o'clock uh, uh, once uh, the feds uh, the FOMC or uh, if I'll try to make it at two o'clock if I cannot then it will be Tomorrow, the same channel uh, at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time. I want to say God bless you all, and uh, thank you very much for today. Bye for now.